Y'all are gonna be any good? We're gonna be good. Yeah, we are. Our whole league's gonna be good. But uh, I like our group. Really competitive group. Guys have worked hard. We've had some time with them. You know, it's different than uh, when I first got into coaching when it was four at a time. And you had a lot of limitations on how often you can get out there on the court with them. But we've had uh, abbreviated practices for quite some time. Um, starting next uh, Monday, you know, we'll have the 20 hours per week. So it'll be ramped up. Uh, for sure, we'll have opportunity to have longer practices and, and take a big jump offensively and defensively. What will uh, Savo bring to the table? What, why did you guys want to add him to your roster? Savo's a terrific passer, competitor. Um, he's got that, uh, that, that European experience uh, playing against high level professionals over there for quite some time. Um, to where he's uh, he's mature beyond his years, uh, really high basketball IQ, big body point guard, again with a uh, high level ability to pass the ball and make his teammates better. Coach, how important was that deep NIT run for the returners this year in terms of their development? I think it was important for them. I, I think it, it helped them gain confidence. Um, it helped um, us with a little bit more of a sell in, in recruiting last spring. Uh, just continues to, to provide us uh, momentum, you know. For those guys individually, I thought, thought our three freshmen really finished strong, and uh, they got right back to work uh, last spring, and, and they've all had really strong off seasons. Speaking of those freshmen, where is it that you want to see each of those guys take a step forward in their game? Culture, leadership, more than anything, winning. Um, individually, uh, you know, just from a uh, you know a, a skill standpoint or, or facets of the game, I would say. Um, Silas has worked really hard on, on his on his shot, you know, improving his percentage, his assist turnover ratio as well. Um, Blue Kane becoming more confident, getting better defensively and on the glass, rounding out his game, which he started doing a lot late last year, of course, and Silas had a really good year. In addition, Dylan James getting stronger, uh, shooting it with more confidence, defending and rebounding at a high level, which is needed obviously at any front court spot uh, in this league. What have been your early impressions of Asa? Obviously, a lot of people are going to be paying attention to him mm -hmm. as the season gets going. Asa Newell, um, very high motor, um, a big time mover at, at 6'11", laterally, and the way he changes ends. Uh, plays with a lot of energy. Um, had a really good summer. What are the challenges in building a culture in this day and age where rosters turn over as frequently as they do? And I guess they do it in a lot of places. But just what is the challenge in trying to develop a, a consistent culture? Well, from year to year, I, I think it's it's very challenging, and um, we are fortunate. You go back to an earlier question that we retained three guys that started for us late in the year, and, and they're a big part of what we're doing moving forward. But um, you know, within year, it's a, it's the same thing. You know, every year is a different team and different challenges and different personalities in the locker room. Um, we spend a lot of time talking about it. Uh, we'll, we'll have a meeting here at three fifteen where we'll talk about culture and, and growth and process. And, whether or not we're going to tournament this year, you know, whether we're going to the NIT and you know, all that stuff, uh, we, we won't talk about. We'll talk about. Before I got those questions, obviously, um, we just talk about getting better today, you know, and and what does that look like? Uh, it'll be very interactive and ask guys questions, um, get those guys talking, you know, about what's important and how do we get better today offensively and how do we shoot it better and how do we get connected defensively. Uh, but just that growth process um, is a big part of what we talk about to promote that culture. That's what we're looking for uh, with, with this team and, and with next year's team in the following year. What style of play do you envision, or, do, or is that still being worked on? No, we, um, we'll be comparable to last year. Um, we'd like to play a little bit faster. We played a little bit faster the previous year. Um, we'll be, um, I, I think this team offensively can be a little bit less call heavy. Um, and I, I think this team can have more success with, with some continuity stuff, um, playing downhill, um, screens off the ball, screens on the ball, um, picking our spots where we, we'll play really fast at times. Um, I think this team can be better on the offensive glass for sure. Uh, and then defensively, I think we can turn you over a little bit more so than the last couple of years. And, um, there'll be a significant improvement in my opinion in how we 
protect the rim defensively. You know, we can block and alter shots, which could get us out into transition. I'll speak again that on the offensive glass. You made a focus in the, in the portal to really bring in some, yeah. some big physical athletic guys. But, yeah. So how much do you think that will now help that aspect that was kind of a weakness at the time? Well, optimistic. Um, th this this program the last couple of years, we've, we've done some good things and we've had some deficiencies and we haven't had a lot of easy baskets. Uh, we haven't, whether they're in transition or on the offensive glass, and uh, again, we haven't protected the rim uh, at a high level. Uh, we haven't blocked many shots. We hadn't altered a ton of shots. We had a couple of timely blocks last year by mm -hmm. Russell Schuler sure. and a couple other guys, but hadn't been a strength of ours. And I, I think that those areas will see a bunch of improvement this season. Coach, where have you seen Dylan James improve this offseason? He's gotten stronger. Um, he's gained a little bit of weight, not a ton, but he's definitely gotten stronger. He works at it. His ball skills have improved a lot. Um, He's a guy that's unique in that he's playing a few different spots for us. And so he's, he's actually has, has to have a better understanding than the rest of our guys um, because he's, he's, we played him a lot of backcourt, believe it or not, um, this summer. So he played some three and then he played some, some post for us. Uh, really versatile, so he's gained experience, you know, doing something a little bit different than the rest of our guys. And he's got the ability to do that. He's, he's really versatile. He's really talented. You yeah. had RJ and Tyron from a power conference level. Just mm -hmm. how have you seen those guys bring that big game experience that they already have into this program? Yeah, we're hopeful to see some late game uh, production by, by Tyron that we saw, you know, over the, the past few years competing against him and, and watching him uh, in, in these league games. He's at times, he's been really confident and, and had uh, some big practices, um, but he's still learning what we're doing. RJ Godfrey is, um, he was, he was a, a heck of a player on a really good team there for a couple of years, playing alongside a couple other really, really good front court players. Um, he's been terrific. Uh, his consistency, his motor, his toughness, we know exactly what we're getting out of RJ every day. You How guys, does that translate to other guys? You mentioned that's also about yeah. RJ, the you know, way he kind of goes about his business. How is that kind of rubbed off on guys in a way? It, 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 exactly that. It's, it, it's rubbed off a little bit. You know, we talk about culture, and he leads by example in a big way. Um, and if you're not playing as hard as him and you're competing against him, you're going to feel it. Are you guys in a good spot health wise with the practice right around the corner? Yeah, we are. Uh, had a couple of guys, you know, throughout the past few months that might be a a week or a couple of days or what have you, but this time of year is the best time if you're going to miss at all, right? And uh, the goal is to be as healthy as we possibly can be in November, December, or throughout the winter. You obviously put a lot of them on south the shoulders of true freshman last year, and, and looking on social media, some of the posts that the basketball program puts out, he's really kind of trying to pull this team under his wing, so he's part of being a leader type type goes. Is that a fair assessment? What he's trying to do yeah, he's part? he's trying his best to lead by example. Uh, he's such a competitive guy defensively and, and on the glass. Um, he's one of the, the better guards in the league in, in those areas, and he's continuing to develop offensively and, and learn where to pick his spots in terms of him scoring it or him distributing and, and making guys around him better, lead on the court um, with his voice. But he's a guy like RJ. You, you know what you're getting every day. And he had a really good freshman year. And um, he's hopeful, we're hopeful, that he can, he can have uh, even a better sophomore year. You guys got about a month before you guys start scrimmaging. What do you want yep. to learn about this team over the course of this next one? Um, how it looks when it when you're in the real grind. You know, we've been in that abbreviated grind so far, and, and our guys, we haven't had a lot of opportunity, especially before you get into really good shape, basketball shape, to really test our guys physically and mentally, you know, through some hour and a half, two hour practices. So how that looks, how our guys respond to some of that stuff. Um, starting next week would be interesting. When you bring in Dakota and Shane that have played together, just how much do you want to try to play those two together since they already have that connection and comfort? Not, not a big factor for us, really. You know, we're, we like our depth right now. We like our depth up front uh, and in the backcourt, and those are two of the guys that are fighting, you know, for, uh, for minutes, fighting for starting spots. And, uh, who's going to be the first guy off the bench and who's going to be our 10th, 11th guy, who knows. Uh, but it, it's a healthy competition. Those guys are both very talented. Uh, they're a little different. They can play together, um, but they also, uh, there'll be times when one of them's on the court and one of them's not, for sure. You know, because they've got, they've got their hands full with some other really good guards. 
uh, and some experienced guards too. And I say that, and, and our whole league's got a lot of those really good guards and experienced guards. But um, I do feel like uh, our backcourt will be um, as good as it's been since we've been here. With Dakota, just what specifically stands out to you about his game? Um, whether he's a one or a two, uh, he's he's equally as effective. You know, uh, sprinting into shots, dribbling into shots, or getting other guys' shots. Um, he's really steady. Uh, he's a guy that um, doesn't play with a lot of emotion, but he plays very hard. And so he's you know, offensively, you like his his poise on and off the ball. Very good player, really skilled player. Sompto was a guy you get guys added late. Just what have you seen from him and him and Justin? You know, bringing that physicality in the interior. Justin's had a couple of really good practices lately. Got to adjust to this level, of course. Um, really quick thinker, good passer. Uh, instincts defensively, timing defensively with with blocking shots with either hand. You know, kind of got a unique ability there. Um, on the ball too, which is a little bit unique. Not rotational blocks, but one-on-one -on -one blocks. Just got unique length. Um, and Sompto has got a seven foot six wingspan and, and really, really elevates off the floor as well. So it's a couple plays each day. Uh, he makes that uh, a couple jaws are, are dropped, you know, uh, athletically. Got to improve his motor over time. You know, he's a, he's a spurt ability guy right now where he can play really, really hard in short spurts, and we've got to improve that consistency, just like Justin, just uh, adjusting to this level. And his adjustment's even greater, obviously, coming from high school, but a really talented guy. You, everything's relative, obviously. You, you, you said earlier the SEC, talking about the SEC. Yeah. Everything's relative. Uh, how do you feel about, I mean, just a quick snapshot of the league, but mm -hmm. obviously your goal is to move up. Oh yeah, you know the food chain in there. Yeah, do you, how confident do you feel about being able to do that and just looking just at the league more, overall? I, I think we're better. I, I think there's a chance we can be significantly better than last year. That said, where does that put us in our league? I have no idea. I know if I spend time worrying about it, I'm not spending time on us getting better right. today. I, I just want us to become our best version, and I don't know where that puts us in our league. I've been around this league for a long, long time since I was what uh, 18 years old. Yeah. Um, my goodness, it's the best it's ever been, and I say it every year, it's continuing to get better. Uh, January, February, I think we'll be talking about double-digit teams getting in the NCAA tournament. Um, I just, there's not a program, there's not a team in our league that I can point at and say, well, we'll, we'll be able to catch our breath when we play those guys this year. Uh, and I don't think people will be able to say that about us either. I, I just think that there's, there's gonna be a ton of parity. Um, I don't know that we're one of the best teams in our league. Um, we've got it. We've got a, a big jump to make before we can say that, but I do think we'll be even more competitive than a year ago. Um, hopefully we can win some close ones. Hopefully we can continue to just get better and, again, just become our best version and see where that takes us. Just real quick on Blue. I'm sure. talking just a little bit. What yep. improvements do you see him continue to make? Um, making decisions off of the bounce, um, shooting it when he's open. We want him to, to be really aggressive and not pass up open threes. We don't want any of our guys that are shooters to do that. Um, I think throughout last year he made a big jump defensively and got some really competitive um, defensive rebounds down the stretch in important parts of some of those late game situations in the NIT. He's growing in that area too. You know, just just the overall um, ability to make winning plays in the SEC to complement his ability to make open threes. Um, he's become a better passer too. He's working on that.